So ultimately, we should be striving to make good fun levels in Mario Maker 2. But there's something in addition to that that we need to talk about. And that is endless friendly levels. Now what the fuck is that Prem? Well I'll tell you, certain levels might be fun in course world, but due to one major problem, they aren't fun in endless mode and will likely cause a frustrated player to skip your level, but not without booing first of course. That one major problem is that your level is a fucking life sucking vampire and just sucks all the fucking lights out of the whole fucking shit. We get what? 5 lives for normal? 15 for X? What the fuck do you think this is making me lose 5 lives on one section? Fuck you. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. So today your boy Ram Ram is going to outline the five ultimate steps to making your level endless friendly and prevent you from getting that boo. And who knows, you might even get that like. So let's get into this. Step one, three one-ups in the level. This one's obvious. This has been there since Mario Maker 1. You're able to get three lives per level which will help you in the 100 mile challenge in Mario Maker 1 or in the case of Endless will help you keep going on and on and on. People are going to be more likely to like your level. There have been times where I've played a level and I was like that wasn't the greatest level but I died twice, I got three one ups, I still got a net positive of one life. I'm not mad at a level, I might even give it a like. Or if I was going to give it a boo, it didn't get a boo just because of the three one ups. And putting it at the beginning can prevent an impeding skip. Because there have been times where I was low on lives and this happens to many a Mario Maker 2 player and you see those three lives and you're like, ooh, I could get three lives off this level. Let me pull through. They may have saw that thump and been like, this level's too much, I'm going to skip it. But those three lives might have gone, oh, let me give it a go. Step two, power-ups. This is a given. If your level is the whole way through small Mario and you've got enemy spam all over the fucking place, that is a life sucking level and stop being a fucking life sucking vampire. I don't want to spend five lives dying on your level because of a dumb big Koopa showing up out of fucking nowhere, but with a mushroom? All of a sudden, that is not even that big of a deal. You know, you can spam all the enemies you want when you've got lifelines. Regular mushroom placement throughout the level is enough to keep someone going through a level that they thought they were going to skip because now they're not losing lights all the time, they're just shrinking. I get that there's certain levels that work with small Mario, you, you want to go for a certain vibe, use your own discretion, but when in doubt, add power-ups. Step 3, and this is an important step, use checkpoints. Seriously, I don't want to see you make a level that takes longer than 60 seconds without you maxing out the amount of checkpoints in that level. I think you get two, one in the main area, one in the sub area. If your level has a main area and a sub area, both those checkpoints better be used. Unless your level is like 20 seconds long or something. You don't know how many times I was close to skipping a kind of frustrating level, but then there was a checkpoint there and I was like, you know what, I'll pull through. That death is no longer start from the beginning and probably die before getting to half the level again. It's now, I got a checkpoint. I've made progress. I might actually finish your level. I might not skip it and move on to the next one. You know, that's a good thing. You might not get that boo. Now I know what you're thinking, but Prem, I can't use checkpoints because clear conditions, you can't use checkpoints or clear conditions. Well, I mean, to be fair, Nintendo should allow you to use checkpoints or clear conditions. And that's something I want to talk about in a future discussion video. But this brings me to my next point. Don't use unnecessary clear conditions. You don't need them. But Prem, I want to add, you don't need the clear condition. You don't need it. Clear conditions are a nice addition to Mario Maker 2. But most of you do not need to be using it. Real talk. Here's a little guide for you if you're not sure whether you should use a clear condition or not. When in doubt, don't use a clear condition. Clear conditions are great for cheese prevention, exploration levels, and that's it. All other clear conditions are fucking trash, don't use them. For example, cheese prevention, check out the first course I made in the game. It's a very basic course. You just use Cape Mario to fly to the end. And obviously, you could just land on the spikes and then do that thing with the invincibility frames and then start flying again and make it to the end. I don't want people to do that. I wanted it to be one long flight. So I said, you can't land after leaving the ground. It was not destroy 100 Goombas. I don't need to destroy 100 Goombas to enjoy a level, okay? It's not needed. And as for exploration levels, honestly, only do them if it's fun. And I mean like really fun. Like if you've well hidden these like coins or whatever, like those 10 coins or whatever, and you want to put them in certain sections and be like, you know, search them and find them, and it's a fun challenge, then fine. Don't say destroy all five Goombas and then put them in blocks somewhere in a dev area and call it a day. You're getting a boo and a skip. You're getting a boo skip. And finally, time for the last point, lifelines. Now, Prem, what are lifelines? They are things that help keep you alive. The official dictionary definition says, a thing 
on which someone or something depends or which provides a means of escape from a difficult situation. So if you want to do a semi Kaizo level but you want it to be accessible, you're going to have lifelines. What are these lifelines? Technically power ups are included as lifelines even though that was a separate point but I want to talk about level design lifelines. For example, you've got a shell jump in your level. You don't have to put a bottomless pit under the shell jump where you get one shot otherwise it's death, okay? Now, Kaizo levels do this a lot, and they're Kaizo levels for a reason. They're not built to be beaten in 15 lives. If you want to make a fun Kaizo level and you want pits where your shell jumps are, cool, but that's not endless friendly. So in this instance, you might put something like a ground there with a treadmill or whatever the fuck those things are to send you back to try the shell jump again. If it's a different kind of challenge, maybe it requires enemies, use a reset door. Certain ways to make people able to retry the challenge without having to restart and lose a life every single time. If this was course world, we wouldn't care. We'll just try again, right? There's no lice, there's no pressure. But you got 15 lice in expert, 30 in super expert, you're probably down to your last five lives anyway because it's super expert, right? And now you've got this shell jump and then bottomless pit and there's like three of them back to back to back, no check. Come on, dude, come on. People will be more likely to complete your level if it's not a life sucking vampire and you'll be more likely to get that like and not that boo. So yeah, follow these five ultimate steps and you will be making levels in endless mode that do not get skipped and do not get booed. And of course, this is not a definitive list on how to make your level great in general, although some of these points definitely do apply to making a good level. It's not the same as just, here's how you make a good level. This is just things you should consider in general if you want your level to be played and enjoyed in endless mode. All the people with the high scores on the leaderboards on endless mode are all skipping shit. So if you don't want to be one of those levels that's getting skipped, you want your level to be played in endless mode, because who the fuck's going to find a level in course world, right? Like, let's be real. You probably don't know anyone who's going to play a level. Sorry, follow these steps and you have mad likes on your level. If not, well, you can catch them boo skips. But it's your boy, Ram, hitting you with them facts. Stay tuned for more Mario Maker content, other gaming content. It's your boy, I'm out. Mm -hmm.